There is a local tie to the drug President Trump is using to recover from COVID-19. Has gone through many clinical trials in Chicago. CBS 2's Stephen Graves is talking to a doctor at the University of Chicago about why it might be a game changer in the president's recovery. Stephen. Jim, this doctor says she was part of one of the biggest studies in the country with positive results. She expects the president to benefit from this because of his condition. White House staff tonight saying the president even took a second dose of the drug today. I want to begin by thanking all of the incredible medical professionals. Tonight in President Trump's latest video on his recovery from COVID-19, he says he's grateful for the support and the treatments getting him through it. If you look at the therapeutics, which I'm taking right now, some of them, and others are coming out soon that are looking like, uh, frankly, they're miracles. One of them, remdesivir. It's a drug that aims to stop the virus from spreading, giving the immune system a chance to fight it off. Higher risk patients like President Trump usually see the most benefit. He fits the criteria for um, the early um, emergency use um, of the drug. Dr. Kathleen Mullane held two studies around remdesivir and COVID-19 comprised of about 224 people. One trial was done on severely ill patients, the other with those who were moderately ill, some of whom were given a placebo. In most cases, those on remdesivir only needed five days of therapy. We found that the number of days that people required in the hospital was far, was fewer than um, those patients who were in the placebo arm. The doctor says the experiment showed that the faster someone gets the drug, the better. The problem is it's only available intravenously, so it's not an easy drug to use except in the hospital. That's because the FDA has only given the drug emergency use approval. But President Trump's also getting help from another lesser known treatment called an antibody cocktail. That one is still experimental, but Dr. Mullane says it is helpful. If I had a patient who presented to me who, who was ill and older and needed to be hospitalized, yes, I would certainly um, tell them to use both of those agents. And the doctor says she hopes her team's findings can help get official approval by the FDA. She says hopefully that will make the drug more widely available. Live in downtown, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Stephen, thank you.